So good morning uh, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Pierre Gelpi from Semtech. I'm very happy to uh, have all of you for this uh, webinar today, uh, webinar on logistics. So I am in charge of the logistics working group of the marketing committee within the Loire Alliance. And um, uh, we will have uh, a few presentations today about uh, logistics and asset tracking with uh, Laura One. So, um, for the agenda, I will uh, start with the uh, uh, next slide, maybe has the agenda. So, um, uh, I, will, uh, I will start with a brief introduction uh, about the Laura Alliance and about uh, um, some use cases. I would say very generic uh, use cases that we have uh, in the logistics space with Laura One. And then um, I will be introducing uh, one after one uh, different panelists. Uh, first of all, we'll have uh, Gabor Pop from uh, Activity and uh, presenting uh, different customer projects that uh, they have done with Eddieway. Then uh, Luca Morin from Eolan. Uh, then uh, Nathalie de Sager from uh, JRI on cold chain. And uh, finally, uh, David van Nienhoff from Veloc. And we will keep some time at the end for Q&A. So if you have questions, you can, uh, of course, start, start uh, asking them in the Q&A uh, in the Zoom uh, uh, tool, or also ask them at the end of uh, all the presentations. So next slide. Um, just to say a few words about uh, Laura Alliance. Laura Alliance is basically the uh, incarnation of the Laura One ecosystem. Um, its mission is really to standardize the Laura One protocol and uh, provide certification, device certification to ensure interoperability, which is key for this market. And as you can see here on this slide, we have uh, more than 500 members today. So of course you cannot see all the logos of the adapters, uh, but hopefully you can see uh, maybe some of the logos on the left of the screen of the contributor members and especially the sponsor members. And as you can see, we have very large players uh, in the Law Alliance, which is of course very encouraging and very exciting on a day-to-day -day basis. So now let's jump directly into uh, logistics. The first use case really that has the most traction with Laura One is uh, automated inventory for industrial assets, um, especially for automotive industry, also for aviation industry. Uh, this is about having a, a the daily inventory of these metal racks that you see on the picture. Uh, these have an important cost of uh, 500 euro average. And believe it or not, but these industrial players are spending millions each year to replace these racks that are somehow lost. They are not really stolen, but they are lost because they are sent to the wrong place or people don't have time to scan them. And really by removing all the manual intervention and having an automated inventory, thanks to LoRaWAN, which provides um, both indoor and outdoor coverage and geolocation, these players are able to save huge amounts of OPEX for solutions. I'm giving here in the slide the 50K uh, uh, order of magnitude for one factory. Uh, just to say that the ROI is really a few months. So this use case is really, I would say the first one uh, in, in the logistics space for Laura One. But of course, it's not the only one. And you can see on the next slide that um, there are more complex uh, coverage situations and more complex features that are available. Um, on the coverage side, of course, the, the previous scenario was private network on the, on the, on the factories only. But you can uh, have more advanced 
I would say, more advanced coverage uh, scenarios with moving gateways in trucks or trains, uh, with public networks, of course. Uh, one of the great flexibilities we have with LoRaWAN is uh, having both private and public networks. So nationwide public networks are available in many countries. We'll see a map later on. And of course, uh, multi-country networks that are also available, so not even needing roaming, and of course, roaming as well. So all of this is available in terms of coverage. And in terms of features, again, the previous use case I was talking about is only present to have this automated inventory. However, you can increase uh, and have more advanced features with outdoor geolocation. We will have examples with our Alliance members later on indoor location as well, which is also very important for automotive and aviation industry, and temperature. Again, uh, JRI is all about that, and Natalie will talk about that uh, later on. So really, depending on the industry you are in or your customer is in, uh, there are uh, configurations, combinations of coverage and features that are available. And here, you can see the map of the lower alliance. So we have today more than 120 operators with public networks and lower one is present in more than 140 countries. So you have really coverage available almost everywhere and, um, and you can use it for uh, the logistics use case. Uh, and, and now is really the time to go into more details and have uh, customer examples and ROI examples uh, with our different features. And the first one is uh, Gabor Pop from Activity. So Gabor, it's your turn. Thank you, Pierre, and good afternoon or good day to, to everybody. Uh, my name is Gabor Pop, and I am Director of Marketing at Activity and Abbeyway. So in a couple of words, because I know that the most important part is the use cases, but just a couple of words about Abbeyway. So Abbeyway is a French company that specializes in low power multi-technology location solutions, leveraging the LoRaWAN backhaul to send the information. So uh, we are, I mean, Abbeyway is using a, a mix of different location technologies, such as GPS, or low power GPS, which is basically a cloud-based GPS. Uh, but we all, Abiwa is also using Wi-Fi sniffing, Bluetooth low energy location, and also the native LoRaWAN uh, network-based uh, location using the time difference on arrival uh, approach. Uh, Abiwa was founded in uh, 2014 and was acquired by Activity uh, two years ago and is now part of the uh, Activity Group, uh, Activity which is one of the leaders in terms of LoRaWAN network connectivity solutions. Um, Abbeyway deployed more than 100,000 devices, LoRaWAN based devices worldwide. So as Pierre mentioned, it's, uh, we are talking about a worldwide business with uh, networks in almost all countries in the world and we are facing a huge demand in terms of um, location or logistics, industrial logistics based use cases. Um, maybe on the next slide, please. So why combining basically all uh, that many different location technologies on the same hardware platform? Um, it's basically because there, today there is no magical location technology out there uh, that fits all the different use cases. Um, for example, GPS uh, is not working indoor. Uh, Wi-Fi coverage is not always available everywhere and it's not always precise enough. Uh, BLE is not suitable for outdoor use cases. So, all the use cases that we are seeing on the market, they are a bit different each time and they have all different requirements. So it's really essential, essential for us to have several embedded location technologies on the same hardware 
and then leverage um, a, a very basic intelligence. I'm not talking about uh, artificial intelligence, but very basic uh, intelligence that is able to select the best location technology based on the context. For example, the software on the tracker is able to see if there are Wi-Fi networks around, and if there are, in that case, uh, automatically it will switch on the Wi-Fi location and deactivate other location technologies on the sensor. Uh, the ultimate purpose is always battery consumption optimization. So the reason why we always need to select the most suitable location technology, it's always to really optimize the battery consumption. Everybody knows that GPS is consuming a lot of power. Um, so if we can have alternative location technologies available, um, then it's always better to use Wi-Fi, for example, or BLE, depending on the context, in order to save the, the battery. Um, but the intelligence is also in the cloud part, um, because technologies such as low-power GPS or Wi-Fi or BLE, they all require solvers that are not um, on the sensor, but that are located on a remote, remote cloud uh, solver. And uh, one of the activity products is able to combine all the different solvers and basically use the best technology available based on the context in order to compute the location of the sensor. And then, of course, Abbeyway will push the relevant location data to the business applications that are out there on the market. So now jumping to, the diff uh, to a sample of use cases that we have seen on the market. Uh, on the next slide, please. As I mentioned, we've, we've deployed more than 100,000 sensors. So we've seen a very large spectrum of different use cases uh, with different requirements. Um, one of the most interesting ones um, was done with uh, Jeffco, one of the biggest logisticals companies in, in Europe. And the use case was to monitor the transportation of Triumph motorcycle cradles that were transported from uh, the UK to, to France. Um, the, the issue was that basically the transport companies were sometimes taking uh, weird paths, losing a lot of time, doing a lot of stops, uh, sometimes making detours for personal reasons. And for all these reasons, the logistical track was not always optimized. By tracking those motor motorcycle cradles, um, Jeffco was able to check if the pass was uh, the best one, if the route was the best one, and if not, call in real time the the transportation company and tell them to go back to the right to the right route. And with this, they were really able to to reduce the the time of the transportation and they were saving money on, uh, on fuel. And of course, they were also enhancing the rotation rate of the, the motorcycle cradles. Another interesting, um, uh, let's say, value of this use case was that basically the transportation company was tracked between UK and France. So this is a multi-country context uh, use case. So with Orange, who deployed networks in, in the UK and France, uh, the information was able to be routed to the relevant uh, Jeffco company, uh, whatever the location uh, of, the, um, of the transportation company track. Um, next slide, maybe, please. Um, another interesting use case what we, what, what is with Volvo. So Volvo is manufacturing thousands of cars on huge manufacturing plants, and they are actually uh, parked in very large, but really, really large outdoor parking spaces. So when they need to find the relevant uh, vehicle on those parking spaces, it was actually before that, it was recorded uh, in a manual way in, in Excel files, and it was really difficult, and it was taking a lot of time to find the, the, the car they were looking for in the large parking space. So now they are currently equipping all the cars with, uh, with trackers, and with this approach, they are able to pinpoint in real time the precise location of every vehicle in the outdoor parking. And of course, they are saving a lot of time in, uh, in looking for the vehicle and for, uh, 
pinpointing its, its location. So here we were leveraging GPS because GPS is working very well outside with a very fair position, uh, precision uh, between two and five meters. And this precision was largely enough to locate uh, the vehicles in the large uh, outdoor parking spaces. Next slide, please. Um, another one in the industrial, um, in the industry vertical. So we were working with the Swiss uh, railway operator called SVBCFFFS, uh, if you're familiar with the name. And basically they were requiring uh, location um, technology in order to pinpoint the location of wagons during transits and transport and get alarms if by any accident the the, the, wag the wagon was located on the wrong track. So here they were using also GPS. Um, the accuracy was a little bit more difficult because uh, there are so many metals in that uh, environment that sometimes the position was a little bit less accurate, but it was still enough because you know the wagon is quite huge, so it's quite easy to locate when you are very near. Um, so they were deploying GPS to locate all the wagons uh, in those huge uh, railway stations. Um, next one, please. And another one also in, the, in um, tracking worker safety in an oil and gas environment. Um, here, it was also about uh, locating workers if they are getting inside very dangerous areas. Um, the only difference is that at this time, um, because of the very dangerous industrial uh, environment in, in the oil and gas sector, uh, the trackers needed to be, uh, to be ATEX certified, which is still quite rare in the LoRaWAN world. Um, and this is uh, this is a requirement from uh, from the industrial oil and gas client. So here we were using ATEX uh, certified sensors to equip uh, thousands of workers, and also uh, on this specific construction site in Oman with uh, with Petrofac, uh, some uh, industrial trackers were installed on heavy machineries to be able to locate their, uh, their position uh, on the sites because sometimes those sites can be really, really huge. And sometimes the heavy machinery can be put in the wrong place. And then they are losing a lot of time and resources looking for the machinery, going to get it and bring it to the right location. So monitoring their specific precision, position, sorry, um, provided a lot of value and, and reduced uh, the lot of time to go and get the relevant heavy machinery. Um, so I think that's all on my side. If there is no other slide for uh, Abiway. Yeah, that's all on my side. And if you have any questions on the solutions I presented, please let me know. And I will be happy to, to answer or help you out. Thank you. And now we have uh, Luca. Luca Morin from Eolan. So uh, Luca, yeah. go ahead. Welcome. Yes, hello everybody. So Lucas Moring speaking from Aeolane. Uh, I am a business uh, developer within the Smart Solution Business Unit, uh, which is kind of uh, a spin-off of Aeolane uh, activity, let's say. Uh, we do have an offer of two sensors. Uh, the first one that we introduced to you is Movie, and the second one is Bob Assistant. Uh, so we can move forward on the next slide to, to begin with Movie. Yes, so movie track uh, is an industrial solution, a tracking solution working uh, using the LoRa technology. Uh, so we do have some park. Uh, I did not put any uh, customer's picture because we did not have their uh, agreement for that. But we do have the, the kind of the same use cases that presented before, uh, which is the tracking of some uh, reusable uh, carrier for the automotive industry. So we are currently working with a French car maker uh, who do have some production plant in Romania and some assembly plant in France. So we currently track uh, the package ship, shipped sorry, from Romania uh, up to the French assembly plant. So the use case is actually the same than before. Uh, the main benefit is that uh, they are now able to know when the, the, 
the shipment has arrived the assembly plant and ask it uh, to be sent back. The ROI we had from the customer is eight months. And uh, we are only using the LoRa tracking uh, technology for this use case, which allows us to have between five to seven years of autonomy per sensor. Uh, the other interesting fact of this sensor, and we, we can uh, actually show the, the next slide if you want. On this sensor, we do have embedded uh, an accelerometer and a gyroscope that will allow us to combine uh, in the use case different features such as uh, the shock detection thanks to the accelerometer and the uh, uh, angle of the package thanks to the gyroscope. So we do have some use cases with uh, wine goods. Uh, we actually monitor the fact that the box stay um, in the horizontal position uh, during all the transportation Otherwise, uh, we receive a notification stating that the, the, the wine bottles are actually uh, up, uh, which is not uh, in the transportation contract. So the use cases are kind of the same for this first sensor than my previous uh, uh, colleague from Actility. But on the other one, which is Bob Assistant, we do have another use case, which is based on maintenance. Uh, we can move forward on the slide if you want to. Okay, so this is Bob Assistant. This is the predictive maintenance sensors that we launched one year ago in partnership with Cartesium, which is a, a French startup located in Toulon. Uh, they are actually specialized in the artificial intelligence embedded within uh, the microcontroller, which is a small electrical component. So this sensor is actually fully autonomous. There is no wires, no setup needed. Uh, you just have to plug it on any uh, vibrating equipment. And then when you start it on, it will learn by itself in complete autonomy the learning, uh, let's say, path of the equipment during the first seven days. And then it will sample the vibration every five minutes to define if there are some vibration drift on the equipment. And so this is actually very different from the competition uh, that we have on the market. And we, you can see that on the next slide. Thank you. So here you can see the, the Bob Assistant and the Data Loggers competitors. So the main difference is the installation because as I told, there is no wires, no infrastructure, no uh, setup needed. The gateway is optional, but fully, uh, let's say, recommended within indoor use cases. Uh, regarding the data analysis, it is done actually inside the sensor and we are able to send the result of the analysis on different platform. Uh, we do have our own platform. I am also in charge of finding some partnership on the platform market. So we are currently working with big players and let's say more regional small players. But the fact is with this sensor, you are able to learn in a full autonomous mode, the learning path of any vibration equipment. And then you will be able to see some reports of it, uh, such as the operating time uh, the vibration drift, the peak frequency, the maximum amplitude vibration in G. Uh, and this is actually the, the full offer of Eolan Smart Solution, uh, which is to, to conclude one sensor to monitor uh, the tracking of some equipment and some event on it. And Bob Assistant, which is dedicated to the predictive maintenance thanks to an embedded artificial intelligence. So I tried to make it quick because I'm sorry I have to, to, to leave this webinar later on. Uh, but please, if you do have any questions, feel free to, to contact me later. Uh, and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Luca. Uh, so yeah, if you have still a few minutes, uh, maybe uh, people can ask you questions in the Q&A and we can answer before leaving, but uh, yes. otherwise, uh, uh, Later on. So now um, we have JRI, so Nathalie de Sager. Nathalie, yes. your turn. Go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so I'm Nathalie, I'm the export manager of JRI. Um, I would like to introduce you shortly, um, JRI, compared to the 
other partners of this webinar. We are quite an old company um, with a long lasting experience in temperature monitoring. Uh, but indeed, uh, the last years we have developed uh, a new range of sensors and complete solution uh, based on the LoRaWAN technology, uh, which gives us lots of advantages uh, when it comes to monitoring temperature. Um, so our company um, designs and manufactures uh, ourselves the complete solution, so from the sensors to the um, software platform. And what is quite important in our uh, business of um, temperature monitoring is that we um, have our own in-house methodology lab laboratories. Um, so we are COFRAC accredited, uh, which is conformed so to the European um, 17025 standards, and which is uh, which has equivalences with uh, the most uh, European and international other standards like NIST in the United States, UGAS in the UK. We can go to the next uh, slide. So to give a short presentation of uh, the base of our um, solution, um, so the GRI MySerious platform um, is a, is a cloud-based um, monitoring solution. Um, so we mainly measure temperature, uh, mainly for uh, storage areas, so which can be warehouses, cold rooms, as you can see, uh, thermostatic chambers, climatic chambers, all kinds of fridges, freezers, incubators, and so on. And at the same time, we also monitor during transport uh, either complete vehicles or um, separate um, isothermic bags or uh, containers. Uh, the, um, we, apart from the temperature, we can of course also monitor uh, humidity and different kind of physical parameters, uh, mainly for the medical environment. Next slide, please. Yeah. Can I? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, so before talking about some use cases um, and and more getting into detail of the solution, um, here you see some worldwide references um, as we are with our wireless uh, system already about 20 years in the market. Uh, we have lots of references and now the last years also with the LoRa solution. Um, so we are present in more than 70% of the French hospitals and have also uh, international references in hospitals. Uh, the biggest one being the Auckland Hospital, where there is a LoRa installation. So with, in the private uh, network, uh, they have about 450 sensors installed since uh, the beginning of this year. Uh, we work also quite a lot in blood banks, so that's mainly uh, to measure the blood samples in uh, fridges, freezers, deep freezers, uh, and also during the transport. Um, a lot in pharmaceutical industry, uh, there it's mainly for the storage and transport of drugs uh, and vaccines. Uh, global transport and, and storage, uh, food, uh, we are the uh, reference um, install supplier from McDonald's France, uh, about uh, 1,400 restaurants. Uh, we have clients like uh, Gate Gourmet, so this is catering in the airports for the, um, uh, for the uh, airway companies. And then lots of uh, food and, and global industry, uh, as you can see, Nestle, Danone, uh, also in aeronautical, uh, industry and um, different um, kind of uh, yeah, food uh, business uh, everywhere in the world. Uh, next slide, please. So our solution um, is based um, on different kinds of uh, equipment. Um, so we here we talk about uh, the LoRa spice, which are our sensors. They can either work uh, in within a private uh, network uh, through a gateway, uh, sending the data to the cloud. 
um, or uh, and that is mainly for the French market, but we have some um, experience also abroad uh, through a public network connection and, and this is mainly applicable and interesting for transport uh, situations. Uh, and then we have a third uh, product range uh, that is um, can, that can complete the, the LoRa range. Um, but all our sensors are talking to um, our own MySerious platform and um, our cloud, so it's based on Microsoft Azure. Next slide, please. So in our range of sensors, LoRa Spy sensors, um, they uh, cover different kind of temperatures, which is quite important. So a part of the classical uh, zero to 50, we are able to cover uh, temperatures until minus 200 degrees. Um, so mainly for low temperature freezers. Uh, and we can go up to uh, yeah, 400, 500, even 1000 degrees uh, for ovens and so on. Um, we have different ranges of um, sensors with integrated probes, external probes, and different kind of probes that can be adapted on, on, on them. Um, the sensors have the, they have a very large buffer memory of 10,000 measurements. So which means that even if there is a, a connection failure, we can always uh, get back uh, all the measurements that have been um, Thing. So there is no break uh, of measurement uh, when we go to the platform afterwards. Um, and of course, the um, alerts are managed uh, in case of threshold excursions. Uh, and we go, yeah, we can go to the next slide and I can show the platform. Yeah, okay, sorry, the platform will be at the end. So the biggest advantages of this kind of uh, solution is that it is a complete independent system. So it can work on any fridge, any freezer, any truck or box, uh, can be placed anywhere. So this is quite important uh, also in order to be uh, conformed to international standards, which oblige to monitor um, the big advantages indeed that we can be adapted on, on any kind of equipment. Um, so our basic probes are indeed minus 200 plus 200 and we can go up to a thousand uh, with possibility of yearly calibration, which is very important uh, in medical environment for the, with the use of uh, temperature sensors. Um, and of course, so we have real time alerts in case of excursions. Um, we can say that nowadays um, temperature monitoring in medical environment um, is Everywhere, everywhere is, is obliged now. Um, of course, in, in, in lots of places, they still do it. It's still done manually with a thermometer and somebody going around three times a day to get the temperature. Um, the advantage of having this uh, automized is that you have much more reliable information um, because it cannot be changed within the platform, within the software that there is possibility to have uh, reports uh, and of course to receive alerts, which is the main, uh, the most important um, advantage for the user, the final user. Um, we consider that if we talk, for example, about uh, pharmaceutical storage, uh, that there is a very fast ROI um, on an investment so if we start, if we compare, for example, an investment of a gateway with one sensor, a one yearly subscription, we are under a thousand euro, uh, knowing that one fridge can easily contain vaccines or drugs with more than 5,000 euro value. So it, it's, it's a very basic example, but it, it shows in which way uh, the investment is, 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 has a really um, high um, ROE. High. Um, last slide, please. Yeah, sorry, I had some information missing. Um, and just to shortly to show our um, platform, so which is a very user-friendly 
platform completely customizable in different languages, so to be used all over the world uh, with different service levels, uh, depending on, on the need of, of the users, uh, with possibility for the pharmaceutical industry, mainly uh, having the CFR 21 part 11, which is so imp important for security reasons. Um, so the customized user profile management, all kind of uh, alarm options uh, going yeah, through text messages, phone calls, um, emailing, um, and uh, all kind of uh, yeah, all kind of notifications uh, that can be imagined. Also, lo uh, local audio and, and visual alarms. So. Yeah, that's it for um, our presentation. Um, if there are further questions, please don't uh, hesitate at the end of the, the presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Natalie. And last but not least, uh, Vilok with the recovery service and uh, David von Mienhoff. So, David, your turn. Thank you, Pierre, for the introduction. I hope everyone can uh, can hear me well. Um, as Pierre introdu introduced, uh, my name is Dave Fanayinov. Uh, I work for Vlog, and what we do is uh, we provide uh, not only a location uh, service, but also a recovery service. Um, Vlog was founded in 2014 to tackle the problems uh, of construction companies that were facing. Um, yeah, problems while managing their assets. Um, we created a simple uh, and plug and play device, which was the smallest low power tracker on the market. It's not only uh, good looking, but it's also quite robust. Uh, with an IP rating of IP68, uh, yeah, it could withstand almost anything. Uh, with the world class antenna design transmitting 14 dBm, um, this small and robust sexy takes uh, less for five years and will transmit a short range message every eight and a half minutes. Uh, a long range message can be done every 12 hours, but can be adjusted over the air. Um, and yeah, it is an ultimate sensor for a combination of public and uh, private networks. Um, whenever you have a, a public network, uh, it can also roam with, uh, uh, or a private network can also roam with the public networks if necessary. Um, yeah, please, the next slide. So over at Vlog, uh, we have a great R&D team uh, designing custom sensors for different verticals of where, uh, which one of uh, one of is, it is uh, logistics. Um, we can make a solution for every logistical problem uh, involving localization. Um, so from an ROI perspective, um, locationing but also recovering is fairly essential um, as you don't only want to save cost and time and be productive. Uh, you also want your assets or your pallets or whatever logistical assets you are moving. Uh, you want to keep them safe and want to recover them whenever they're lost or stolen. And that's where Felix is for. We can make different uh, sensors for different use cases um, with a focus on locationing, but also focusing on improving your ROI, ROI as a business. Um, we can implement multiple technologies, uh, one of which, and the most important for us, is LoRaWAN. Um, of course, it's uh, important for transmitting the data, uh, but also a fairly unique uh, technology of LoRaWAN is uh, TDOA, time difference of arrival. And um, we don't necessarily need a GPS sensor on board to uh, create uh, a location, uh, the LoRa network, and that's really unique, uh, can calculate a network on the basis of this time difference. Um, to make uh, the locationing more precise, and especially indoor, we can use Wi-Fi sniffing. We can also integrate Bluetooth, low energy. Uh, NFC, uh, which is fairly essential in the, uh, let's say, the logistics. Um, for scanning and dispatching, it's essential. Um, and we can also implement an accelerometer or other technologies if needed. We can really think with the companies regarding uh, the battery uh, size and the lifetime that goes with the tag. Um, so multiple, multiple batteries can be used. Of course, um, the size of a tag grows whenever you uh, put a bigger battery in it. Um, but for every use case, there's an optimal size. And, we are a company who really think with the customer towards implementing, um, let's say, the perfect use case uh, solution uh, for every vertical. 
So why we've chosen for LoRaWAN? Um, as I've mentioned, yeah, I think we can click to the next slide, please. Yeah, perfect. So why we've chosen for LoRaWAN? Um, it's mostly because of TDOA initially. Um, so not using, uh, not needing to use a very power-consuming GPS system, uh, but using the the geolocation functionality of the network itself. Um, but the other good thing is that you can uh, use a private and a public network. Um, so there's no necessity for using a public network only, like Sigbox. Um, you can also build your own proprietary network um, with the, all the benefits that uh, LP1 network has. So low power, long range, uh, relatively low module cost, um, and no handover. So if we're going to the next slide, you can see what we over at Philo really do. Um, we have, um, let's say, an optimal combination between public and private networks. Um, so whenever you install a lower one gateway in your warehouse or, for example, in your trucks, you really get this moving proprietary private network of uh, LoRaWAN where your tags can function in. So whenever you're, you want to track, let's say, for example, pallets, uh, you place the VLOC tags on your pallets, you build your own private network. Um, a warehouse is easily covered by one gateway. If we're really talking about big um, uh, warehouses with a lot of steel construction surrounding it, um, yeah, you might need to, but essentially that's all there is. Um, you can, yeah, essentially see all the tags that are in your warehouse or in your trucks. Whenever a tag gets goes out of network, uh, we can provision it on a public network where wherever a public network is available. Uh, a lot of countries where we are active in have public networks available, and whenever assets get lost or get stolen, we just provision it on a public network, and we also recover it once it's stolen. So we really get it back for you, and that's where we prove the ROI not only on the saving side, but also uh, on the time saving side, but also on the the, the yeah, money saving side. So we really, um, in a way, ensure that your goods are uh, safe and we will recover it once it's stolen. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, don't need to deep dive into all the things we can do with our tech because uh, a lot of my uh, colleagues before already um, yeah, went in, into depth about it. Um, but essentially, uh, it's all about having uh, a good control over your assets, and that what, that's a thing that VLOC can offer for you. Um, the real benefits on the next slide, um, if you want to streamline your business uh, or across your supply chain by using LoRaWAN, um, you can optimize your inventory management, warehousing, and quality of services. Uh, you can optimize the fill rate of your trucks. So a lot of trucks nowadays uh, move out of a warehouse uh, with a with a ha being half filled. Uh, we can really optimize uh, the, the 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 amount of assets that go into, uh, let's say, a truck um, to ensure that you have uh, the optimal fill rate. Um, with a humidity sensor, shock uh, sensors, etc., you can ensure safe storage of your goods. Um, so whenever, um, just like GARI, if you have uh, a higher temperature or high humidity, whenever it's not, uh, whenever you don't need it, uh, you can be alerted. Um, and the great thing about it, whenever you get everything, have everything integrated into one system, uh, you can increase the estimated time of arrival accuracy uh, with 24-7 location information. So you always have um, a good insights into your locations. It's fairly real time as our short range interval is eight and a half minutes. Um, so you really can see where your assets are every eight and a half minutes with your own network. Uh, moving towards the customer case, on the next slide, uh, one of our assets, as I said, we are um, from origin, we, we really have a big presence in the construction sector, one of which is uh, a company called Tools from Willem & Group in Belgium. Um, they have a lot of uh, vehicles and warehouses using um, a, a yeah, mobile LoRaWAN network. Um, so having a proprietary network in warehouses and in trucks uh, really ensures that they have a real-time inventory of their assets. 
Um, this is for optimizing their, their asset inventory, so they don't, don't need to buy any assets whenever they al already have them in stock. Um, so, um, yeah, the, the, let's say that they started out uh, before this project, they really would buy anything they needed uh, at any given day. Um, but now they have an optimal inventory management of all the assets uh, that they have. And whenever someone or a mobile work site is closed, um, they can just uh, go over there, pick it up and, and use it. Um, they can also optimize the use rate of the assets. Um, so really uh, ensuring that uh, an asset that is bought uh, lasts through its whole life cycle uh, without being lost in the meantime. They can also calculate the costs of a project because whenever an asset uh, arrives at uh, a mobile workplace, um, the, the internal rent is calculated due to the time that it's been there. Um, of course, being able to roam between public and private network, uh, they never lose assets again. 80% uh, of all the assets in uh, the construction sector that are stolen um, stay in the country of origin. So. Uh, we are definitely 100% sure that we can tackle the 80% to 20% is uh, up to roaming. Of course, we can provision it on other public networks, uh, but depending on the price, we'll go for it whenever it moves across the border. Another uh, important part for their use case is their inspection rates. Uh, they yeah, need to inspect their assets regularly and uh, with VLOG and with uh, an asset inventory management system like us, uh, they have a 100% inspection rate. So for all different types of uh, logistical use cases, asset management use cases, uh, location and recover use cases, uh, we can provide a solution. It's all about the location, uh, about rendering a positive ROI for the customer. And we really think with the customer about their use cases and trying to solve the puzzle. So from my part, that's uh, my presentation. And uh, I think we move forward to the, uh, to the questions. Yes, thank you very much, David.